Hello Internet, Internet. Big Dave is here, and I am cheap. Sure. Hello Internet, it's Big Dave here, and welcome back to more Vertical Drop Heroes HD. We are resuming right after our last episode, and we are choosing from this cast of rogues. Curse Strider, Pine Strike, and Witch Flare. So a quick uh, quick inspection, what do we got? We've got roughly equal damage, roughly equal health. So we're gonna look down to our abilities and traits in order to determine our character of choice. And that is immediately gonna be Witch Flare because uh, he's got Red Dragon, which is the ability we got in the last episode that spawns a giant Red Dragon and I just wanna see it happen. So Iron Foot helps us out and I like daggers as well. So uh, yeah, and he's also got glasses. I don't know, there's just something interesting and fun about a champion of the people, a slayer of evil that uh, wears uh, John Lennon style glasses. So yeah, we want more damage for certain and I'm gonna go ahead and invest in a little more health. I was almost tempted to go double damage there, uh, but I feel like you do need to balance it at least a little bit. At some point we will start uh, feeding the pacifist panda down there once again. But for now we're gonna stick with this. And into the Goblin Forest once again, as we always do. One of these days I will uh, put in for a teleporter and bypass this level, but just like I was talking about in the last episode, right now it doesn't seem to make any sense. I need this money and XP that I'm gaining uh, by going through this level. So it doesn't make any sense for me to skip these early levels uh, because this is all absolutely needed and vital XP. All right, so more pacifism. And we got ourselves a princess here. I think she probably wants some flowers. Okay, she wants three red roses. I already have one of those red roses, so we might as well put in some more time to get the rest of the red roses. Spawn four enemies to gain 25 XP. That could become a sort of a pit of death here. We are in a little, little ravine. And if all four of those enemies spawn in here, it could be bad, but we do have a red dragon, so, you know, if worst comes to worst. All right, three enemies here. That's all right, we took them all out in one hit, so I'm not too sad about that. It ends our pacifist run, but it was pretty much time for it to end anyhow, as I didn't see any immediately available pacifist or peace orbs down below. So, you know, that works out. Got a little bit of XP, not just from killing the enemies, but from activating the, uh, activating the shrine itself. So it's a win-win situation, says I. Okay, do we want to free this guy? He's going to use that force thing and he's going to drill down through the ground. I think we're just going to you know, leave you be. Oh, that was not the plan right there. I'll tell you that right now. I hope that you would assume that that wasn't my plan. I mean, I'm a bad player, but not that bad. Okay. Uh, yeah, I kind of want to see what this red dragon does, so I'm just going to I'm just going to spawn it. Oh, he's magnificent. And he comes along with a, an achievement. Oh, but he died in one hit. That's crappy. Uh, okay, well, let's try him again. We'll, we'll give him the benefit of the doubt. Oh, he exploded himself into... Th uh, that's... Man, underwhelmed. It, he didn't really do anything. I mean, he hit him for like, uh, you know, an eighth of his life. I... Ugh... Am I missing something? Am, am I supposed to be doing something to guide him? I, I, yeah. I don't know. Yeah, I don't, uh, I don't get it. I don't get it. I was so excited when I got the red dragon and now I'm so dejected at having seen his underwhelming presence. Hmm. Color me disappointed. Oh, a few easy kills here that we definitely will take, so let's go ahead and grab them. Can't quite get back up to the top. I, stuff's dying. I don't know why or where it is, but something just died up above. Great. We will go ahead and restore, even though, again, we're restoring a an underwhelming red dragon. Perhaps the secret of the red dragon will come out at some point. We'll, we'll understand how he works and how to better manipulate him to our advantage. But for now, I am just simply disappointed. If you see magma, don't jump in. The lava here will burn your skin. So uh, yeah, let's not jump in hot lava. 
some precision platforming for one gold. But hey, one gold might be the difference between an upgrade and not an upgrade. Uh, there's one pacifist orb down there. I think I might as well just go ahead and start killing stuff. So, as I was saying on the last episode, the ability to kill uh, one shot on this level is sort of a, uh, a, a point of progression for me. When I start to kill these enemies on this level in one hit, I feel like I've made a little bit of progress. And I'm still not quite there, but I'm getting closer every single time. And that is why I've been buying an awful lot of updates or upgrades for my attack damage uh, in past episodes. And some of these guys I am killing, you know, my, my damage is, is, of course, has a range, 13 to 23. What I'm really trying to do is get my minimum damage number up to a point where it will be high enough, even on my weakest swing, to kill any of these guys. Uh, wow, okay. Uh, yeah, that was a lot of damage from that guy. Red Dragon. Okay, all right, he's, he's, he's killing. He's trying. And I'm dead. Wow, okay, I... Yeah, I wasted time with that uh, useless dragon. So we're just going to move on. We are going to put uh, Red Dragon in the same category as Mega Jump right now. We're just going to kind of go on about our business. So again, we are faced with a choice. As always, Rip Dawn, Moonblade, and Fey Dusk. Fey Dusk, what a great name. Uh, we have one definite leader when it comes to health. And uh, yeah, he's also pretty much our leader on damage as well. I mean, they're all they're all in the same ballpark in damage within one of each other. So yeah, I'm not going to... I guess there is no clear leader here. We'll call it a tie, all right? Just to be just just to be uh, politically correct, let's just let's not put one uh, fantastical fantasy creature above the other. Let's, uh, let's be kind to all. So yeah, daggers and death puppet puppet. Yeah, that seems like a really good setup. Death puppet seemed amazing at the time that I played uh, with death puppet. So we're gonna get to try out death puppet again. And you get plus three percent to your critical with the uh, dual swords, minus ten percent HP. Not too bad. Uh, so yeah, a completely pointless and unprofitable run ne uh, last time, so we have to hope for better for the next time. We need 200 gold for more damage, and that's what we're going to focus on right now, so let's do it. Shrine of the Forest. Ice bolts in all directions. How's that a Shrine of the... Oh, Shrine of Frost. Shrine of Frost. Uh, yeah, reading. Uh, you know, of course, this is the Goblin Forest, so I have forest on the brain, but... Uh, I don't know if that really explains that. Yeah, I don't know if it really explains my lack of basic reading comprehension, but there you go. I will make an excuse every day of the week if you give me the opportunity to. Shrine of Blood, B-L-O-O-D, spells blood. Five coins, uh, one max damage for the rest of the run. Eh, take it or leave it. Inadvertently ended our pacifist run there. I was trying to clear that alarm without activating it, but now let's go ahead and start setting off alarms left and right. The damage that I have should be uh, more than enough to one-shot all these guys. Uh, you know what, just for fun, I'm going to hit a Death Puppet here. There we go. I like a Death Puppet. Very nice. Look at my guy smiling. Look at him. So happy that he had that Death Puppet. I would be too. I would be too. So as I recall, the Death Puppet, every time you take damage, he sends out a uh, crap ton of bolts or, or seeking uh, tendrils to uh, kill your enemies. So he's going to come in really handy on the later levels when I'm taking a much more damage than I am now. Uh, now taking damage is a rarity versus actually just one-shotting enemies. So on level two and above, I think the Death Puppet will prove to be a great asset. And so we will have to make sure to have one activated most of the time. Four enemies gain 25 XP. Yeah, why not? Uh, see no reason uh, that we shouldn't do that. Continuing to remember to break crates, collect keys, doing all those things that a good Vertical Drop Heroes HD player does. Because, you know, while I am not one, I want to appear to be one. So, I try to assimilate. I try to imitate. I really like the Mimic from the movie Mimic. I'm exactly like the Mimic from the movie Mimic. One more alarm we can activate down here just for funsies. Our death puppet is gone, but uh, he's going to make a return immediately because the boss will certainly hit me. And since the boss will hit me, he's going to be absolutely destroyed by the wrath of my wild-haired death puppet. There we go. Death puppet doing his work. I like it. 
Love that death puppet. And as always, there's a shrine of restoration here at the bottom to refill our death puppet supply. And as we come into the autumn forest, we are greeted with... The minions here are really savage. Half the health, half the life, but twice the damage. Just putting in my own words now at this point. So fun. Easier to kill, so we'll be one-shotting, but also they're going to hit a lot harder. Maintain pacifism as long as we can. I think that's a good thing. Ancient tablet, this tablet. Oh, so there is a... Uh, there's a wizard somewhere It's going to be searching for that tablet, so we're activating that tablet in advance of his desire to have us do it. Completing the quest objective before we even have the quest. God, if all MMOs worked that way, how great would that be? All right, there we go. Killing, killing, killing. Easily one-shotting these guys because, again, they do have half health. Keeping our eye out for the next uh, ancient tablet. Shrine of Flight. Don't care about Flight. Looks like another Shrine of Flight down there along with a crate, but heck, I'll just go for the crate. Because four gold is four gold. We'll hit the last ancient tablet. Now all we have to do is find the wizard. That guy just didn't want to pay attention to me, which, you know, whatever. <laughs> That's great. If you don't want to look at me, I don't want you to look at me. You just stay over there and keep shooting the wall. Hey, guess what? I found those tablets. Three damage. I'll take it. Hey, I like, I like damage. I like killing, killing, killing. You can see now my low-end damage, 15. My high-end damage, 30. I like it. Oof, lots going on over here. Lots of arrows flying. Getting some damage, but also managing to survive. I, that could have gone a lot worse, so I'm not going to complain about how that went. Pop down here. Be rewarded with a key. Might as well go ahead and let this water out. You know, why not? Okay, so uh, yeah, let's activate our death puppet. And let's head down here. You know, sometimes when I have the death puppet, I mean, he's so good, I almost feel like I want to take damage. Uh, because, I mean, look at that. Look at what he's doing. And, you know, all for relatively a small amount of damage on my part. I mean, I've taken a very small amount of damage in order to really hit the whole room hard. You know, hit everything on screen really hard. Eh, 10 seconds of, uh, sh of stealth or uh, invisibility, whatever. <laughs> I could definitely see a point when that would be worthwhile, but this is not that point. Man, yeah, that Death Puppet doing work. I mean, Death Puppet is everything I wanted the, the Red Dragon to be, so <laughs> I'm kind of uh, I'm kind of in camp Death Puppet right now. New power, Shadow. Shadow. Okay, turns your hero into a shadow immune to melee attacks for three seconds. Killing enemies in melee extends shadow's duration by two. That's really cool. That's actually uh, that's actually nice, but I really want that. Okay, well, actually, right now, even if I buy this and I die immediately, I still have 200 gold to upgrade, upgrade my damage. So uh, it's, yeah, I'll do it. Sure. And that is part of the fun of this game. Adding the... Uh, adding all of the... And for some reason, I decided to take a chance on a health shrine there adding all the abilities so that you get more and more interesting combinations. The increasingly interesting combinations, I think, are, are what make the later version of this game after you've been, uh, you know, regularly uh, playing for, you know, let's say four or five hours. It, it's what makes that version of this game so much more fun. Uh, starting out is great because you're learning everything about the game. You're learning the mechanics. You're getting adjusted to how things move and how things work. But once you've got this crazy amount of stuff unlocked, it just really becomes fun. And I uh, probably didn't need to end my pacifist run there, but, you know, whatever. It happens. Uh, okay, so we're just two-shotting those guys. Uh, force Blast. I passed up Force Blast uh, previously when I was in my little protest where I refused to buy anything from these guys uh, if they wouldn't sell me a new trait. But uh, I'm not really interested in spending money because I want to keep that 200 gold. So uh, I will spend keys, though. I've got keys and I've got little else to do with them. I will free a thief and a barbarian just for funsies. Uh, hopefully that thief will stay off of those spikes and stop hurting himself. Uh, I do want to stay close to the thief, though, so I can actually pick up the gold that he's dropping. Don't do it again. Don't you... T oh, ho, ho. nearly killed himself there. I want the gem. Okay, good. He dropped his gem. Okay, that's... You know, honestly, that's all I care about. He dropped his gem. <laughs> oh, we will hit the death puppet. Uh, because why not? Why not hit the death puppet, you know? 
Uh, really just absolutely worth it, the Death Puppet, in my opinion. Uh, took out a lot there, did a lot of work, did a lot of damage for us. So uh, it is a an ability point well spent, in my opinion. So the Thief, I think, paid off. Uh, the Barbarian did some work. Uh, first striking around, hitting some guys, but, uh, you know, for the most part, probably could have saved that key if I really wanted to. But who am I kidding? I mean, what am I saving it for? Absolutely nothing is what. Great. This fell on some spikes. That's wonderful. All right. So uh, we got daggers. We got death puppet. Uh, we got to get back up. Uh, we're not going to do that without taking even more damage on the spikes. And we're going to hit that uh, dagger, 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 death puppet, dagger, 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 dagger. Lovely. Lovely and efficient. I like it. I like it. Uh, so I can't get up to my Shrine of Restoration. Perhaps I should have thought that out a little bit more before spamming those daggers out with such ferocity. Uh, even this uh, blue teleporter, which is tempting, is, again, good for me as a player, but not really for you as a viewer, so let's just skip it. Ah, oh, fires here are hard to quench. Great. Great. Thank you, Strange stat Statue, for telling me that this is going to be the end of my run. So it's a fire level. And if you have uh, watched any previous episodes of the series, you will know that uh, I die on fire levels. It's just sort of what I do. So if you can avoid killing enemies, you can avoid adding to the fire tally. So that does encourage me to try to maintain a pacifist run. So I will. Uh, but at this point, I am just looking for gold. I am looking for anything I can do to salvage this run, let's say. <laughs> and uh, come out with something. Uh, because right now, I feel like death is uh, its a foregone conclusion. And I'm just waiting to die right now. Oh, look at that smooth, sweet jump. I'm going to pat myself on, on the back for that one for at least a week. Grab the key, didn't touch the fire. Okay, so almost killed him. Uh, which at this point, yeah, well, there's a couple of pacifist orbs. I was going to say, is there even a point to caring? Uh, but there is. So we will at least go for those last two orbs. That raven is going to attack us on sight. Uh, so I'm going to try. Uh, if you have no keys, breaking a chest or door will work too. Oh, okay. So if you have an ability that... Well, we, we know that already because in previous runs, we have seen uh, heroes broken out of their bindings by, uh, by bombs and things like that. So we, we kind of already knew that information, but, you know, reaffirming it, I suppose. Oh, that was a lot of probably unneeded damage. Uh, hey, you got a trait for me, greedy. Uh, let's see if you purchase a trait. Future heroes, coins and gems are attracted to you. Hell yeah. I'll absolutely take that, and we still have enough ma uh, money to upgrade our damage when that becomes a thing. Uh, we do have iron foot, so I'm going to take a jaunt into the spikes uh, for that, just because, you know, might as well take advantage of iron foot. Uh, not going to be any... Uh, not going to be any impressive jumping happening on that fire pit, so let's just skip it. I see a pacifist orb, but I don't know if that's reason enough to actually maintain the run. Uh, yeah, so let's go ahead and uh, let's go ahead and get a kill here, and let's go ahead and uh, get a kill here, and we'll just start getting kills everywhere. A kill here, a kill there, a, a kill everywhere. Uh, that is going to start bringing fire. Uh, that is going to be a uh, pit of fiery death that I need to exit uh, immediately. I, I need to exit immediately. Oh, uh, okay. So that went really poorly. I was having trouble jumping out of the pit. Uh, I'm not going to say, you know, that it was a problem with the game, but uh, it didn't feel like I had control as the player. I felt like I was being juggled there. It took me back to some, some very bad fighting game memories of the 1990s. Uh, okay, so we've got very little going for us here. Uh, you know, one hit is going to be enough to kill us. And now we've got a boss that is going to absolutely own us. So let's just try to survive. Nope, and we didn't. We tried to survive, and we did an absolutely horrible job of actually surviving. Great. All right, well, another successful run here. You know, we're getting pretty deep into the game every time. We're getting new traits, we're getting new powers uh, or abilities, and uh, we're getting that gold. So we're going to be able to upgrade our damage next time around. I'm super happy, super happy with the way things went this time around. So uh, thanks for watching. This has been Vertical Drop Heroes HD. I have been Big Dave, and as always, take it easy.